Something big taking place in America's center this weekend. We're talking dinosaurs and dragons. We'll tell you how you can take a stroll with them coming up right here. Fox 2 News in the morning. Well, Tim Azell taking a trip back in time this morning. Yep, he is getting up close and personal with dinosaurs and dragons. Yeah, hey guys, you know, dinosaurs get a bad reputation of being kind of snarky, a little bad-tempered, but they're really not so bad once you break them a bit. Just add, saddle them up and ride. Proof Positive is right here in America Center. We're going to tell you how you can take a little stroll with the dinosaurs and the dragons. That's coming up right here on Fox 2 News in the morning. Howdy. All right, welcome back, guys. 547, are you looking for something big for the family to do this weekend? Well, Tim Azell may have something for you. He's in downtown St. Louis where the dinosaurs and dragons are large and in charge. I'd say so, Tim. We're looking for a prehistoric good time. We've got one for you in downtown St. Louis. Brian Galantine joining me right now. We're talking dinos and dragons, and uh, we got one that woke up early this morning. We did, yeah. <laughs> we uh, we forced him out of bed, our uh, gigasaurus here. Um, you just look at that thing and, and just smile. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. How many dinosaurs are in the exhibit here? Uh, between the dinosaurs and dragons, we got close to 100. Yep. Wow. Yeah, mostly animatronic. Uh, they all move. They make noises like this one does here. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And folks get a chance to get pretty close to these creatures. They do, just like you and I are with this one here. Uh, you know, we probably won't move this uh, much past where it's at now during our second day of setup. So uh, we'll get close to it. There you go. And lots of, lots of activities for the kids here. Absolutely. We've got uh, rides, bounce houses, uh, craft station, uh, story time. There's just a lot to do here this weekend at America Center. Are they going to learn about the dinosaurs while they're here? Absolutely, well? yeah. We've got glass placards with uh, on most of these uh, big guys here. They'll tell a little story about them. Now, I, I don't know if they were dentists back in the day. <laughs> but this guy's got a pretty good set of choppers. He Not does. Not a lot of periodontal disease he or does. gingivitis, none of that. <laughs> Looking pretty good there. But I, I, I'm going to guess that the gigasaurus was not a hugger. Probably not. With those arms. Not with those teeth. No, yeah, not absolutely. with those teeth and not with those arms. No. You're, you're not hugging much anything with those things. <laughs> so you're going to be here all weekend long. We are. Yep. We, uh, we've we got a, a sensory uh, hour and 15, hour and a half tomorrow morning. So we'll have all these guys moving, no sound. Um, and then we're here till about 4 o'clock Saturday and 3 o'clock on Sunday. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. It's right here at America Center. It is the Dino and Dragon Stroll. We're going to be checking it out all morning long. No bad breath either. I mean, I can tell you, you brushed this morning. Thank you. I appreciate that. We'll have more with the dragons and the dinosaurs coming up all morning long right here. Fox 2 News in the morning. Gigasaurus. Wide awake.